the information I'm going to share with you today is actually in one of my longer videos, but I'm going to condense it down to just this one thing. And that is how do you introduce a song in Radio DJ automatically? And that's what we're going to do. All right. So what I did was I loaded some jazz songs of mine, put some different names on them. Right. OK, so here's how this works. First of all, it starts with having drops for the song, which you probably already have. You probably already made your own and we do have those. Um, so it starts with the rotation. So I don't have a rotation. I'm going to make a rotation that pulls from, I call this a jazz category. So let's do that first. Cause this is where the magic happens. And this is the only way to do this. Okay. So we start here with track rotation, which went to another screen. And we're going to build a brand new rotation. So we're going to click the new rotation icon over here. And we're going to add our first line. So our first line, we want music. I put that stuff in jazz. Any genre is cool. You do not have to use genre. I see a lot of people using genre. If you use genre, you're going to run into a, a lot of headaches, especially if you're not meticulous about assigning genres to your songs. If you don't want to go through 10,000 songs and assign genres to them, choose any genre. Okay. Only use this when you know specifically you want to pull out a specific genre out of a category with maybe mixed genres in it. Right. All right. So my selection mode will be least times played. And here is where the magic is sweeper by default is set to without since we want to introduce songs, we're going to set that to start. All right. So that's going to be my first line. My next line is going to be from the same category, but without a sweeper. I don't want a sweeper because I only want to say something every three songs could be more. And so I'm going to highlight this one and hit the duplicate. So that's all I'm going to make. I'm going to make three lines. And in this, we're pulling from the jazz subcategory, any genre, least times play. The first one is the one, the first line is the, is the line that will, um, introduce the song. And I'm going to move that to the middle line. Okay. So it's going to be the, the middle line. Now we're going to save as, and I'm going to call it jazz rotation. Okay. And close. So if I go over here and I switch this to jazz rotation and hit clear, it's going to load the songs in there. Okay. If you notice, none of them have a sweeper attached to them. That's because we have to do some extra things. First of all, let me make the size of that Q bigger by reducing the number of slots to show so that we can read this. All right. So you see it loaded in. These songs also, I want to change for my auto DJ. I don't want to keep seven songs in the in the queue. I want to just want to keep three. Just want to keep three songs in there. So let's clear the queue out. Okay, boom. So we loaded up three songs. None of them have a sweeper or a voice track. That is because in daily sweepers, there are none. So if I go over here to the search and I, the first filter, I want to set to sweepers and here's the second filter. We have daily sweepers. We have nightly sweepers. None of there's nothing in any of them. All right. So let's add some sweepers to the daily sweepers. And I'll do that and come back. I'm going to do one um, and then come back. So we'll do one. I made some temporary sweepers. Now, because these are on uh, the daily sweepers are not introducing songs. I want to pick the sweepers that are not introducing songs. Okay. I'm 
going to set this to sweepers here and daily sweepers and track type must be set to sweeper. So your categories, the main category sweeper, your subcategory got to be under that main category and the track type must be set to sweeper import. And I'm going to import the rest of those and come back. All right, so I've added a bunch of random sweepers um, under sweepers here, daily sweepers here, okay? Now, remember when we loaded this, as you see, none of them have any sweepers in them. So now I'm going to clear it out, okay? And we see that this first one has one of these sweepers in it. But our question or our dilemma is we know that that will do that. But what if a song comes up and we want that particular song to have its own intro? All right. It starts once you get all of that together, it starts with making a category. And what I do is I click on the options and I go to categories and I go to sweepers. And I'm going to make one general subcategory for song intros. Okay. I'm not going to make a category for every artist. And uh, no, I'm just going to make one sweeper category called song intro sweepers. Now, once you've done that, now you need to import. Uh, I could do it directly because it'll bypass the ones that we just did because they all coming from the same little place. So I'm going to bulk import these song sweepers. So we got to select sweeper. We're going to select song intro sweepers. And the track type has to be sweeper. We do not care about the um, genre because we're not even using that. Okay. So I'm going to import those in. Okay. So now when I go to sweepers and then I drop down and I do song intro sweepers, I should see the intro sweepers that I made for these songs for this demo. So we got, um, about four for with this ring, one for sweet love, one, you know, we got a couple, some of them. All right. So now that we have these sweepers in here, we don't ever want to set this up to grab those sweepers from here. We just need for them to be in here so that they can be recognized as sweepers or voice tracks. Okay. So now what we have to do, go back to our music my jazz category. All right. So sunshine, sunshine does have some sweepers over there. So what I need to do now is I need to right click on sunshine and go to edit track. When that comes up, you're going to see, you got your settings tab, your details tab and a sweepers tab. This is how you assign a song sweeper to a song. So I'm going to drop down to song sweepers. And we're looking for any of them that have the word sunshine. You know, you can be more detailed if you want the name of the artist dash sunshine dash sweeper. So we're going to add that as an assigned sweeper for the song sunshine. So what happens when we do that? Well, when the system sees that this song has its own assigned sweeper, it's going to pick that versus picking a daily sweeper and you can have multiple sweepers. It'll pick one. I don't know if it's random. I don't know how that does that, but it will randomly pick one of the sweepers. If the song that it chooses lands on the rotation line that says pull from this category with a start sweeper. So that song has one. Okay. This song is Sunday drive. So we go to the sweepers for that song. We go to song and it's Sunday drive. There is one for it. 
Okay. This is play it for me. Okay. Go to the sweepers tab for the song. Go to our little categories, play it for me. It only has one. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see Kenny with this ring. He has more than one. So Kenny James with this ring. When we edit the track and go to the sweepers tab, we're going to see that with this ring has more than one sweeper. So we're going to move all of those over there. Okay. We're going to move all of those over there. Now let's say you don't want to introduce the song all the time. You can actually add one of the other sweepers. So it'll choose between randomly pick between a sweeper that's introducing the song um, let's just throw this over there and one that is a standard sweeper. Okay. So that's with this ring conversations, I think has one. So you get the, you get the general idea. Conversations. Let's see. Jam session. Love is real. All right. So I'm gonna go through these and I'll go ahead and assign them and come back. All right, get to the next one. So it this is a major, major undertaking. It's something you would do in your spare time, in between time, between times, and in between times. Smooth guitar has one. But this is the only way to do it, okay? And everything I need, I do not think it has one. I could be wrong. Okay, it does not have one. Okay. So now that I have assigned personal sweepers to the songs. Let's see what happens. You are listening to WNIA Gospel Radio. Now, you see how loud he was over the song? We can adjust that. So we're going to go to options, options, sound devices, scroll all the way down to the bottom. And that was a sweeper. So we're going to take them up maybe to a four. Let's go to five since that's the halfway mark. Okay. Now, as you see, the next song, because you know, the rotation is like without a sweeper, with a sweeper, without a sweeper, and then it goes back to the top without a sweeper. So you're gonna get a sweeper every three songs. So here's the third song right here. Notice how it has a sweeper on the start. SS means sweeper start. And notice it's a personal sweeper because it's assigned to this jam session. So we assigned one to the song jam session. So let's see what that sounds like. I'll just exit out of these. And we'll jump to the end on this one. And here's the jam called Jam Sessions by recording artist Roderick Carter. Okay. So that song, I made that drop to introduce that song. Okay. And that's how it's done. Let's do this next one. And as you can see, the next one, uh, the third song, of course, after the song is playing, is the song Sunday Drive. And you see, it did not get a daily sweeper, it got its own sweeper, which is called uh, Sunday Drive Sweeper One. So let's see what that sounds like. Jazz on Real People Talk Radio. And here's my song, Sunday Drive. Okay. Five might be a little too low for the uh, voiceover. So let's do half of that and then take it down to maybe a three. Which 
which is closer back to the two. Now that was a drop, you could say made by the artist. And this that's how it works. It has to be in a rotation. I wish it, I wish the events could do it, but the events cannot do it. All right, the sweet love sweeper. This is let's see what this is. I don't know if this one I made or Thank you for tuning in. This is the song Sweet Love by Roderick Carter. Okay. Now I want to I want to get one that's uh with this ring because with this ring has multiple it has multiple and i put in an imaging drop a standard one basically so let's see if clearing it will get me what i want now this one has a, a bumper drop on it but that's coming from the daily yeah that's coming from the daily sweepers so some some of your bumpers and stuff can have effects and i think this one does have effects but because the song everything i need did not have a an assigned personal sweeper it's going to pull one from the daily sweepers one more time, Mr. DJ. <laughs> they have to be, it's best to keep them under nine seconds, okay? Three sounded like the drop was a little bit too much. Wow, we, we are left with one number and it's four. And so you would have to play with these numbers in your system. I'm using 2050 right now. Let's see, conversations, okay. That is a personal sweeper. So that's what it does. If it if if the song has an assigned sweeper and that rotation line says, go and get me a song and add a sweeper to it, it's gonna look to see if it has an assigned sweeper and that's what it's gonna do. Let's see, I think this one was an AI sweeper. Let's see. Came into my life made me come alive all i ever needed was you this is laura guntry and this is my song conversations playing right now okay and so that's how you do it now i have grown i have gotten to the point where i enjoy sweepers at the end of the song they it it just sounds so so much more convincing but I know a lot of people want to introduce the song. And so that's why I made this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe. You can become a member of Radio DJ. No, how to use radio DJ.com. And I'll see you in the next video.